Hey guys, today I want to do a little bit of, uh, with our new segment, uh, we haven't come up with a name for it yet, but this is the one where we're going to discuss important films and what the filmmaker, uh, might be trying to say, and today we're talking about a 2016 or 15, depending on which way you look at it, um, because it did the rounds at film festivals and all that stuff yesterday. But, or yesterday, I mean like over the last year. So today we're going to be discussing uh, Stephen Dunn's uh, Closet Monster. Now, I don't know what the title means, but I think um, it had to do with um, this, like the film has to do with this teen trying to come to terms with his sexuality and his turbulent past and his macho uh, father and so maybe it's maybe the meaning is that um, of the title anyway closet monster is the fact that he this teen is trying to bury who he is and it's like a monster brewing inside of him of anger and all that sort of thing um, maybe it's not. Like, I haven't seen the film yet, but I've been dying to see it. It's got an up-and-coming, uh, Canadian talent, uh, Connor Jessup. He's been acting for, uh, many years. But, it seems like now is his time that he's booming. Um, because just this past, like, this year, he did season two of... Uh, American Crime, and he was amazing. He's been nominated for an Emmy in that. Um, he's attractive. He's an upcoming actor. He seems to enjoy these uh, projects with emotions, though, because he was also in um, Blackbird, where he played a teen suspected of... Uh, plotting a school shooting, I believe it was, but, um, that was years ago, um, well, not that far, but anyways, this film is directed by Canadian director, up-and-coming director, Stephen Dunn, from Newfoundland, and I watched an interview with him where he, where he, um, said that the film was basically inspired by, um, some hate crimes that were going on in Newfoundland at the time, uh, at the time that he was growing up and, uh, coming to terms with his sexuality, um, now, it, they asked Connor Jessup in an interview once for TIFF if, uh, he knows if the film has any hidden things where it's basically Stephen done drawing from his own life and Connor said I'm not exactly sure but like I said Stephen said that it was more about um, the hate crimes that were going on so I don't think this is that much of a biographical film but again uh, this part of our YouTube uh, channel is to discuss films that can make an impact and I strongly believe it will um, I wish, um, I could meet Connor one day and work with him, uh, on one of our projects. Now is the time that some films are being made in Canada that, that deal with an important, deal with important issues. And, um, that seems to come in waves. Like in the early 2000s, we had more of an independent film boom, uh, and, then it died down, and we dealt with, like, I remember when I was doing uh, movies, um, the big thing that I thought you had to do in independent film was a horror, but now I, but now I see the important issue is you have to use art to deal with important issues, and uh, it can be emotionally draining when you're trying to deal with important issues, and in film and people don't um don't seem to get it but I will say again for um for Stephen Dunn thank you for making this film I haven't even seen it 
there's um but I just there's something about it that's just powerful and I believe that now is the time to deal with these important issues and I think Stephen just wanted to hit the ground running and talk about what was important to him and that's what makes good art so Connor great job Stephen great job one day maybe we can meet up and we do have a trailer to play at the end of this video so you can get um so you can see if you like it or not and we'll go from there and uh there is a longer trailer on youtube so look it up closet monster um trailer peace Your feelings. I don't know.